two days no juice man i was getting depressed so let's get juicing or to you and me let's study some mixology yeah that's a word and the definition goes the art or skill of preparing mixed drinks Lemons and limes, they cut right through any overwhelming flavors if it's too sweet, etc. They also contain natural citric acid, a preservative used in most juices and smoothies found in the supermarkets. So do try to put some in so your juice doesn't become alcohol by the evening. When you juice, everything actually tastes really good as long as you drink it straight away. Juice after a while starts oxidizing with the air, starts fermenting. That's when you stop wanting to juice. My biggest juicing staple is by far the carrot. Make it your friend. Parsnip juice for the first time ever. Don't think it works by itself. <laughs> but I'm getting nutrients I wouldn't normally get into me. You know when you're adding aromatic herbs and spices into your juice that you've elevated yourself to a certain pedestal that makes you officially a real juicer. Turmeric, oh my God, it's everywhere. Maybe I should also start selling this, but in powder form, no one's selling it raw. Hashtag Asian Delhi. For some people, that would be too much ginger, but I'm not some people. Ginger, a spicy root that enhances our internal fire, enhancing circulation and digestion. A warming root like no other. Wink, wink. <laughs> circulation, you know what that means, right? Time to get serious. The bitterness, really just a correlation to how good these are for us. With asparagus and broccoli, I will get the ends and I'll juice them. And then those delicious tops, that's what I steam separately. The best of both worlds. To be honest, I hate salads. I don't know about you guys, but I find kale tough and it literally is tough. You have to chomp on it forever. So better get it in somehow than not at all. Apple is by far a must in every recipe. It just fixes everything. Now to the really fun ingredients. Apples and melons, that's what makes juicing a real pleasure. But also cucumbers, another great way to add loads of naturally filtered water into your juices. But at the moment I'm using loads of courgettes because they're full of water and to be honest, I've got a bit of a glut. Remind me, what's wrong with a uh, wonky, uh, wonky veg? Hey, this is actually really fun. Yeah, that wasn't nice at all, but it's veg. But just like a cook, taste as you juice. Beetroot, it must have been the original natural dye because it is so strong. Try washing it out of your clothes. It does look murky and I know it tastes really good, but we do eat with our eyes as well. I always have to make smoothies fresh because 90% of smoothies are pasteurized. The other 10% are HPP, which are still tampered with. And any smoothies in juice bars, they always have to add loads of syrup, underripe fruit. I mean, it's just something I don't care to buy. Do you have enough liquid in your juice? you need at least one high yielding ingredient. I do wonder if the pips would actually destroy the juicer. At the moment, not feeling I wanna find out. I'm actually enjoying this a little bit too much. The video's taking a lot longer than it should be.
The same goes with any thick skins. Oh, red watermelon juice is nice. I wish they had this in the shops. There might be one brand, but it's still better fresh. But just in case, I suppose. Not like you need reminding, but you might want to wash your fruit and veg before you juice. Greens are best tightly rolled before putting them in the juicer. This is actually one of my better tips. Rank your ingredients from least to most juicy and then juice them in that order. Finishing with ingredients with the highest water content to wash through any trapped flavours. Also, trim or peel any bits that you really wouldn't want to eat normally. I'm actually enjoying this a little bit too much. The video is taking a lot longer than it should be. One final question. What is your favorite ingredient you could not juice without? Let everybody know down below. And if you want more videos like this, then do subscribe. The next video, we're gonna be going through four basic juicing recipes. So do stay tuned. Stay healthy, guys.